Thank you, Madam Chair. The statement is delivered on behalf of the Indigenous Navigator Consortium Partners, composed of Asia Indigenous Peoples Pact, TEPTIBA, Forest Peoples Program, International Work Group of Indigenous Affairs, and the Danish Institute for Human Rights. The implementation of the UN RIP by states is not progressing, with reports of increasing human rights violations against indigenous human rights defenders and land dispossession in the name of development and the lack of data disaggregation by ethnicity, making indigenous peoples invisible, not only in the census, but also in the state development plans and programs. In response, indigenous peoples their local, national, and regional organizations, as well as international civil society organizations, continue to work together to monitor how the UN DRIP is being implemented. One important initiative is the Indigenous Navigator, which is the indigenous peoples-led community-based monitoring tool, looking at the implementation of the UN DRIP, core human rights obligations, essential aspects of sustainable development goals, as well as the outcomes of the World Conference of Indigenous Peoples. Launched in 2014, the Indigenous Navigator is being used in 28 countries as of 2022. In, it is critical to highlight that Indigenous Peoples developed the tools and surveys of the Indigenous Navigator consistent with the UN Human Rights Monitoring Framework. Its processes and practices are leading examples in the monitoring of indigenous peoples' exercise of their rights contained in the UN RIP. The UNPFII, during its 16th session in 2017, made a recommendation that an encourage collaboration and contributions from the governments, the agencies of the United Nations system, indigenous people, and civil society organizations to the, uh, to the indigenous navigator framework and other tools in order to strengthen community-based monitoring and global commitments made under the Declaration, the World Conference, and the Sustainable Development Goals. Mindful of this early recommendation, it is important that the PFII at its 22nd session welcomes further work being planned by the develop, uh, different UN bodies towards developing indicators and monitoring the implementation of the UN DRIP ensuring collaboration with indigenous peoples and building on existing initiatives in indigenous peoples, such as the indigenous navigator. I thank you, Madam Chair. I thank the representative of AIPP for her statement. I give the floor to the representative of Chile.